Hi all, welcome to Tutti Curious Minds. In this session, we will see what is an area. So in geometry, area can be defined as a space that is occupied by a flat shape or any two-dimensional figure. It can also be explained as a surface of an object. As of now, remember area as the space that is occupied by any two-dimensional figure. And suppose we want to buy a carpet for a room. We have to calculate the area of the room floor so that the carpet covers the entire floor area. And remember area is measured in square units. We'll see why the area is measured in square units in the following slides. So as I said, area is measured in square units because the area of any figure is just the number of unit squares that it occupies. That's why area is measured in square units. Suppose if we calculate the area of any two-dimensional figure, it would be the number of square units that it occupies. If area of a square is say suppose 9 square units, then it would occupy 9 unit squares if you place it on any graph sheet. Unit squares is nothing but a square with one unit as its length or breadth. So there is a formula to calculate the area of different polygons. So for a square, which is the simplest, the formula is A into A or A square. Here A is the base or the height. As you all know, the square has got the same base and the height, which is denoted here by the alphabet A. Suppose A here is 3 units, then the area of the square would be 3 into 3, which is 9 square units. That is, it would occupy 9 unit squares. The formula to calculate the area of a rectangle is base into height similar to that of the squares. But in case of a square, the base and height are same, so it's A into A, A square. But in case of a rectangle, the base and the height are of different dimensions, so the formula for a rectangle to calculate area is base into height. We have different formulas to calculate area of different polygons. You could do a Google search and try finding out these kind of charts. It would be helpful if you memorize the formulas. So the points to remember here are area of any figure is the number of unit squares they occupy. And memorize the formulas, it would be helpful during the exam time. Practice calculating the areas of various polygons. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to 2T Curious Minds if you find this information useful. Thank you.